It's 2019 and I'm gonna make my first crypto video. And uh, I'm gonna be talking about three really important things. Um, I'm gonna talk about where I think we are in the ecosystem, where we're heading in 2019, and what I think needs to happen. So what's gonna happen in 2019 in the blockchain space? Well, 2018 was best, how do I, what's the best word I can say? It was a quagmire. It was chaotic. It was interesting. It was scammy. It was fun. But now it's back to business. And so 2019 is going to be a really good year. And I'll explain my thoughts about this. So number one, the ICO market is dead. Regulatory bodies are coming in to shape the regulatory landscape. Number two, as I've been telling you <clears throat> for as long as the ICO market has been going on, utility tokens for the most part are worthless. They have no utility and we're seeing that today. ICOs are now double guessing their strategy of raising vis-a-vis -a, -vis a token and either issuing equity or creating that to some kind of useless equity token, which kind of confuses me as well. Anyways, so three big things in 2019. Number one, I think this is the year of Bitcoin. Bitcoin has been quietly building. Uh, Segwit was the big thing that's been happening the last two years, or specifically last year. 2019 will be the year of Lightning Network, not in maturity, but more and more people will be putting up nodes. More and more participants will be going onto the networks. We will be, we will be seeing for the first time ever more people realize how how important Bitcoin is. Now I'm launch, I'm, I'm releasing this video today and as of this video being released, it's not been 100% confirmed. I haven't done the investigation. Uh, I haven't looked into it, to be honest with you. But as it looks right now, ETC has been attacked by 51% attack, right? Reorganization of the chain. That being said, I think with what's happening with the social networks, as I mentioned earlier in my videos, Patreon, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, etc. More and more people are realizing how important it is to have a censorship resistant, decentralized currency such as Bitcoin. So 2019 is the start of a rebirth of the Phoenix rising again, and that is Bitcoin. Number two is the STO market. Now, a lot of hype in the last Q4 has been going around STOs. Now, my personal viewpoints is we are way too fucking early for STOs. I mean, way too early. A lot of people are trying to sell the hype again, saying, hey, it's the new ICO. Well, it's not. There's regulatory risk. There's security risk. There's liquidity risk. So many different layers of risk when it comes to STOs. And so I think we're just in the phase of gab, 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 talk, 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 hype, hype, hype. I think honestly, we're a very long way away from having the dream of what people are trying to sell that are STOs. So yes, a lot of more, a lot of more individuals and companies will enter the space looking to get into STOs, but it, it's not going to mature in 2019. It's not going to mature in 2020. We have a very long way to figure all these things out. Okay. Number three, I think a lot of the ICOs that raise copious amounts of money in 2017 and 2018, majority of them will not ship, but the minority that do ship will slowly start shipping out Q2, Q3 of 2019. Also, this is the year where we see a lot of the other smart contract platforms. So we have Aeon, we have Cosmos, we have Polkadot, we have RSK. I know there's a bunch of other, but those are ones at the top of my mind. They come out to play against Ethereum. Now, to be honest, Ethereum has majority of the developers. We have Block Geeks, obviously. We train Ethereum developers. We train old Hyperledger developers. We train Bitcoin developers, any developers. We're agnostic. However, the for the most part, the mindshare is still Ethereum. My What's interesting will be the unique use case. I'm fascinated to see what happens in 2019 of how each of these different smart contract platforms carves out their niche. I think we still need another two, three years for these platforms to mature and grow. And obviously two, three years is a, it's a very long period of time when it comes in the tech space. And I think some will just have an unfair advantage to others. But that being said, there is no clear winner. I do not, 
I do not associate with Ethereum winning this race whatsoever. I think there's still a huge runway ahead of us and many more players. Just look at the internet, look at any other industry, right? Many more players are going to enter and we're going to have much more competition. So 2019, we're going to see more and more work done on the Web3 model of the internet. And so 2019 will continue on to 2020. I think we're in for a very long bear market. I think we're in for a reality check that a number one, 99.9999% of these ICOs that raise money aren't shipping. Number two, even if they ship with a token, there is no sustainable business model. Number three, they're getting pressure from regulatory bodies. And number four, the tech doesn't scale yet. Okay. And so whether, whether you are an entrepreneur, whether you're an investor, whether you're a curious bee, I think the best thing to do, the best thing to do is just sit back and relax and enjoy the ride. Just sit back and relax, enjoy the ride. I love this bear market. I love the fact that reality is finally settling in and people are realizing where we are in real time. Where The tech is not mature enough yet. We don't know the new business models and the Web3 business models. Bitcoin isn't mature enough yet. Well, it is the most mature of the total technologies out there. It is the first, obviously. Um, and we have a very, very long way to go. So if you're an individual that cares about the future, if you're an individual that likes to build on technology companies, you got to think about five-year horizons, 10-year horizons. And so there we are in 2019. ICO squeezing, market is dried up. Bitcoin, more and more focus on Bitcoin. More exchanges will focus on Bitcoin and Lightning Network, Network will get a good spotlight on that. STOs will still be mumbling about that. More and more people will get into it, but we will not see the crazy... We will not see a crazy STO uh, bull market. So that's kind of like my major three talking points of 2019. Um, if you guys have any questions or comments for me, like always, leave a comment below this video. And if you haven't done already, please do this. Subscribe to my channel. I don't know where the link is. YouTube changes this shit on a daily basis, but there's a link somewhere. So subscribe to my channel and I'll talk to you guys soon. Peace.